Hey everybody, Kevin Barnett here for Carbide 3D. And if you haven't seen people over the last couple of years making pumpkin boxes on their Shape Ocos, I don't know where you've been. In any case, they've been all over the web. People have been doing a really nice job with this. It's anything from a saleable item all the way down to a terrific kids project if you wanna get your kids out in the shop or just get your kids to design it in the computer. You can go ahead and cut it because that's kind of the boring part for a lot of the kids after five minutes. And then you guys can assemble it together and go ahead and put it somewhere in the house. This is a terrific project. That's why it's really taken off. I'll take you through the steps of making a basic box and then we'll see how far we can take it. What else can we do with it? Can we do something else creative in terms of the construction of the box? Can we use different materials? How about a 17th century Japanese finishing technique? We'll give you that too. All right, let's make some pumpkin boxes. There are zero limitations when it comes to the kinds of woods you can use for this project. I chose to use cedar pickets. This will be kind of the budget way to get there. Pickets are super inexpensive. Looking at the files here, I've already established what I need for the cedar pickets. That little cutout in the back is so that my rechargeable lights can remain inside the box and I can simply charge the boxes after about eight hours of use. Lights will be recessed just a little bit. And if you look at the tool paths, here's the face that I have selected. This particular face design is off of Carbide Elements, which is free, and I put it on a different layer to keep it separate and hideable. Using layers can streamline your design process. L is the hotkey. Next, I use the offset tool to put an acrylic inlay in one of the boxes. You'll create two offsets. One will cut a space for the acrylic. The other one actually cuts those acrylic pieces, which need to be larger than the face cutout, but smaller than the inlay that you establish with the offset tool. So first I establish the inlay size. You'll see that there. And then off to the side, I have the acrylic pieces these are going to be cut. You can actually reorder them. You don't have to cut them in this shape. Once cut, they will fit, as you can see here, in between the face cutout and the offset. We have everything established. I've got my tool paths. Let's take it to the machine. When it came to the cutting, I decided to use down cut end mills, super handy. Be sure and put tabs inside your bigger features so they don't get caught up in your end mill. All the pieces cut out and laying on the Shape Oko, let's go ahead and assemble them. Butt joints are the name of the game here. As quick as you can put these things together, especially if you're selling them, but no matter what your purpose is, it doesn't have to be fancy. A pin nailer is one of the best things you could ever buy, well beyond a finishing nailer. Those tiny little pins shooting in there, spend the 120 bucks or 70 bucks, whatever it may be that you can find a pin nailer for, uh, you will be very happy when it comes to these projects. So we're gonna pin nail the face on and then the back, get everything aligned. On that last joint, you can go ahead and pull it square. Again, this is not fine joinery. This is speed and fun at work on the Shape Oko. Get that top on there. We're gonna go ahead and pin nail that on because that can be on there permanently. We're just gonna pull it on and off the base quite simply. Try and keep things simple versus complicated. Pull the bottom over and look at that. We have a pumpkin box. Now with the acrylic version, you wanna go ahead and cut the acrylic out. Here are the pieces that we laid out and pry them out nice and easy and then we'll peel them and put them into our inlays. Work with that offset tool, it is so handy. These things went in perfectly. I had the mouth backwards, get it right, and we're good. Hot glue gun up next. Let's get these things in here. Try not to spill hot glue onto the front of your acrylic. The comparison between the two boxes, one without acrylic, one with acrylic. You be the judge, which do you like better? On my end, I prefer the one without acrylic. It looks more like a pumpkin to me. Let's go a little bigger. Let's get a little fancier. Let's make a large pumpkin box for two lights. The polyline tool is what we're gonna use to make a stem because we want it to be a little bit cooler. Go ahead and draw your polyline and then use the node editor. We're gonna grab all the top nodes, we're gonna smooth them out, and then we're gonna shape them however we want. Again, this is the artistry of what you're doing. You get to create this thing. You are the master of this object. You're in charge of how it looks. It doesn't have to look like anything other than what you want it to look like. Let's head on over to Carbide Elements. Carbide Elements are free. You can download these SVGs, pick one you like, import it into Carbide Create. Don't stop there. Delete that frame. We already have frames. 
size it appropriately, and then again, we utilize the note editor. Grab the note editor and change this thing. Make it into something that is truly unique and yours. All you have to do is add nodes and grab the existing nodes. You can really create some fun. I'm gonna add teeth to mine because, yeah, it's a jack-o'-lantern. It's supposed to have teeth. It's supposed to be a little bit mean. A few extra nodes and some adjustments to the mouth, done. I'm additionally gonna add some little side elements, again, altering the design, making it truly mine. Some little stripes by the sides of the eyes. Duplicate those two stripes, flip them, and they'll all match. Then you can resize everything in that space. So make your adjustments first to your group, then copy it, then flip it. That way you're guaranteed to have four items that all look alike. You can group them and ungroup them to align them however you want. Once you have your whole face, align that, spin it, because this part, we need to be wider than it is tall, so we're gonna have to alter that. We're set to go to the machine. All the cutouts done, parts ready to be assembled. I'm gonna use the pin nailer along with glue for this one. All the parts turned out really clean with this bamboo plywood. I like to dry fit everything to make sure it's all perfect before I start assembly. Again, with that pin nailer, keep it level, shoot them through, the glue will help make everything solid once it dries. I installed some guides underneath the top piece. Get those nailed in with some shorter nails and there it is, a cat pumpkin. Shushugibon or Susugibon or Sushugibon, I don't know, there, you'll hear it five different ways, is an ancient Japanese technique going back to at least furniture in the 1700s where you take cedar and you burn it. And that has a few effects. One, it defends it against bugs. Two, it makes it nearly waterproof. And three, makes it more durable. It's interesting to think about a wood being burned and that making it better or improving it. Shushugibon literally translates into burnt cedar. That's what you're gonna do. Although that application, Shushugibon, has been applied to a whole bunch of different things. You'll see it sometimes in larch and in other woods. It's become very popular again with architectural elements of homes. I've seen it indoors, I've seen it outdoors. It's something that has really taken hold, I think, because it has a cool name, and you get to say, yeah, it's from Japan in the 1700s. I had some fun using this technique. Let's go ahead and shushugibon some pumpkins. Yeah. Nope, that's not gonna work. That's not enough either. Come on, this is just ridiculous. Okay, how about a full send? Who doesn't want to play with a blowtorch? All right, let's get to our regular project. Brush torch, $20. Propane tank, $25. Elon Musk putting a plastic housing on it, $455. That's exactly what he did a few years ago, is sell you a brush torch with a Tesla badge and upset some politicians. Grab one at any big box retailer. Go ahead and char the outside as much or as little as you want. Remember, you're the artist. You can do whatever you want here. One note, the torch is loud. You'll have to acquire some comfort with it. Let's give you a little bit of a listen. Our Shushugibon is complete. I don't know if this is a good look for a pumpkin. Might be, I kinda like it, not too bad. But the look on the cedar is really awesome. I love this. Now you have a couple of choices. You can leave it au natural, just as is. You can wire brush it and take a little bit off of there and reveal a little bit of the wood. And then go ahead and inside of that, put some poly if you want to maintain it year to year. Or you can just leave it, put it outside, see how long it lasts, see if it makes it the year. Your choice. I took it a little bit further and instead of just going with the simple cutout, as I suggested, you can make it more complex. Went all the way to a 3D design, same face, but cut it in three millimeters and gave it a five millimeter base. Turned out really interesting. It's kind of fun, doesn't have the same finish as you would have if you had 
just cut it out, you lose that, but you end up with something that's pretty darn cool looking and something you might wanna try at home. You don't need Carbide Create Pro in order to use my NC version into Carbide Motion. So you can make this off of the files that I'll put on Cut Rocket. So there it is, we made a whole bunch of really fun stuff. I hope you had a good time watching this video. I had a great time making these different items behind me. Go ahead and jump in the game. If you haven't made any of these, if you wanna sell them, there's still time this month to do so, or just make them for fun around your own house. We've given you a lot of different techniques. Take it further, take it however far you want. Put it on the forums, put it on the unofficial Facebook page. Keep having fun with your Shape Oko. Happy Halloween from Carbide 3D. Ah.